in your entertainment news this week, Scott Baio adamantly denies a claim that he sexually abused an underage Charles in Charge co-star and says that she seduced him when she was 18 and legally an adult. On Tuesday, Nicole Eggert said Baio first molested her when she was 14 and they had intercourse when she was 17. The age of consent in California is 18 years old. Baio is more than 11 years older than Eggert. Bayo says that false allegations against him have got to stop for the sake of his wife and 10-year-old daughter. Bayo added that the pair had sex during a consensual encounter when she was of legal age and that she wanted him to be her first sexual partner. A former Glee star who was convicted of possessing child pornography was found dead Tuesday morning near a river next to his Los Angeles home. 35-year-old Mark Salling's death appears to be a suicide by hanging. He recently agreed to plead guilty in his case to serve up to seven years for the possession of child pornography, which involved a prepubescent minor. Salling played the role of Noah Puck Puckerman in the series from 2009 to 2015. Funny man Kevin Hart will be making a tour stop in Las Vegas this summer. The Kevin Hart Irresponsible Tour is coming to the MGM Grand on Friday, July 6th. Showtime is 7 p.m. and tickets range in price from $39 to $154 and they're on sale now. Bruno Mars swept the top categories at the 60th annual Grammy Awards and hip-hop artist Kendrick Lamar took home five awards. The most nominated artist of the night, Jay-Z, went home empty-handed that night but took home the Industry Icon Award the night before. The Grammy performances dominated the evening, featuring the opening number with rapper Kendrick Lamar in front of a giant video of an American flag and around him a formation of marching soldiers in camouflage and ski masks as he rapped about poverty and revenge. Hillary Clinton was a highlight of a sketch referencing the spoken word category of the award show. The pre-taped skit featured the biggest stars in music reading excerpts from Michael Wolff's best-selling book about President Donald Trump called Fire and Fury Inside the White House. The award show announcer alluded to the book being nominated next year for a Grammy. TV host James Corden, for the second year in a row, hosted the music's biggest night, which also caused Corden to choke up and hold back tears during the most emotional performance of the evening. Corden, the star-studded audience, and viewers at home were brought to tears during a moving performance by singer and alleged abuse victim Kesha, highlighting the Me Too and Time's Up movement in a compelling rendition of her song, Praying. Kesha was introduced by musician Janelle Monet, who said, Time's up. We say time's up for pay inequality, time's up for discrimination, time's up for harassment of any kind, and time's up for the abuse of power. The singer was joined on stage by a cast of talented women singing in unity with a powerful display of strength, courage, and pride. For a complete list of winners and performances, you can go to Grammys.com. Reporting for KPVM-TV, I'm Patty Diamond.